Here I have three cloves of garlic and a small onion, which is about, I want to say a half a cup, maybe a heaping half a cup. And I'm going to add that to about, that looks like about a tablespoon of olive oil, maybe a little bit more, in a saucepan. them a little bit. I want them nice and soft. I'm going to be adding it to my soup. <laughs> so I'll get the lid. What I'm going to do to this mixture is add my cornstarch and margarine. And I, I really don't like using margarine. I've been trying to cut it back from it because it's something I grew up on as a kid. My mom didn't buy butter. She bought margarine. It was a cheaper alternative. But now we know it clogs your arteries. Um, if you have butter, use butter because you know what? Really butter is going to be a lot more flavorful and it's not actually as bad for you as margarine. Sorry, I love you, but I hate you. And I'm not going to use a lot. That's why I use olive oil to basically um, saute these a little bit. And I also have three tablespoons of cornstarch that I'm going to add to the butter. I'm going to thin that out with a little bit of broth and milk to make a creamy um, base that's going to go in my soup. And this is going to lower the calories quite a bit because usually cream of soups, broccoli, mushroom, whatever it is that you're going to make, they tend to have cream in them. So to lighten the load on the calorie, or to lighten the load calorie-wise, I'm going ahead and, and cut it with chicken broth, some of the broth from the broccoli that's boiled, and 2% um, milk. And the cornstarch will act as my thickener. So, no flour, cornstarch. I'm going to go ahead and add three tablespoons of my margarine to my onions here and my garlic. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and dump in my cornstarch. And you're just going to mix it as if you were cooking a flour roux for a gravy at base. Okay, I went ahead and transferred my uh, mixture of cornstarch, chicken broth, um, broccoli broth, and then a cup of milk into my bigger pan and pot. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of pureed broccoli to that. It's kind of gross. It's really good. And just stir that up. And I'm going to go ahead and continue pureeing the rest of this broccoli, which is about, I think I have about six cups left. It, if you have a large blender, go ahead and put it in that and puree it. If you don't, if you have a small one like I do, go ahead and fill it up and then put in about a half of a container of chicken broth or you can use some of the soup mixture that you've already got going and um, thin it out a little. Just kind of help it get mixed because it will not mix in a smaller um, blender like this. So you need to be able to um, liquefy it basically. Puree. I've got about, I want to say that's about two cups of broccoli that I just kind of broke up with my hands. I'm not going to puree it. I'm going to go ahead and just put it in. I like to have a little bit of texture in my soup. I'm going to add it in. And just give it a stir. And I'm going to season it with some sea salt and some black pepper. And here I'm going to be making what's called a double grilled cheese sandwich. And I saw this on YouTube and I want to say his name is Food Wishes. I, I hope. I'll put a link up for it. Because he's got some really tasty stuff on there. So I'm just sharing this with you. And um, I'm making it for the first time. But it looks so good. I, I thought it would be great accompaniment with my cream and broccoli soup. So soup and sandwich night will never be the same with these sandwiches. So when you make a grilled cheese, uh, my mom used to always use margarine. Which I'm going to use. You know, and I'm like I said, I'm trying to get away from that stuff, but it's so, so hard because cost-wise, it's cheaper than butter and cheaper than mayonnaise, actually. 
Mayonnaise is another alternative that I never knew about until I went to work in a deli. I was like, you put what to make a grilled cheese sandwich? Everybody does it different. I think butter has a lot more flavor. So I, I went ahead and uh, done both sides with some bread. And I'm going to go ahead and toast them a little bit so they have a nice um, base or body to hold the grilled cheese on. I don't know about you, but I really like a really good quality cheese, and I don't really buy expensive cheese a lot because of my budget, but Tillamook is a really good brand that's local in the stores here, and I particularly like the extra sharp when I can get it. I've got sharp today that was on sale, so save me some money, and I had my daughter um, slice it on the grater and actually shred some for me also, and that's where the double cheese part comes in, because you're basically going to be putting the slices on the middle, the inside of the bread, and then the shredded is going on the outside and it's going to just create this great crust. So, um, let me go ahead and check my red here. Shut up. Always come in here when I do <laughs> Start talking. Hey, they look like butts. <laughs> the bread looks like butts. Look at it. <laughs> they have cracks. Split top. Split top bread. And whole wheat. You can use whole wheat, white bread, whatever. I just bought bread that was at the store. Like I said, split top white bread. And probably even tastier on a sourdough now that I'm thinking about it. And I'll have to splurge on that next time. But um, simple white bread is, is fine. You want to have more grown up taste, then go ahead and use a different bread. And, of course, I'm using my trusty cast iron skillet. I use this skillet a lot. It's been with me for a long time. It was actually my husband's grandma's skillet at one point. So, I inherited it from his aunt. I'm finished letting those toast. And I'll come back to you when I get the cheese slices going in there. Here we go. Once your bread is nice and toasted, you don't want it all flimsy when you're trying to flip it, basically. Go ahead and put your cheese slices in and let these get nice and uh, gooey ooey in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and put some on the outside and create a nice um, crust on the bread. I didn't really watch how he did his whole, his whole uh, sandwich, but I'm assuming this is what he's doing. He's putting it on top like this and uh, letting it kind of get soft, and then he's going to flip it, which is what I'm going to do in a minute here. I'm sure it has been. Cheese is gooey inside. I've got my spatula on. This is getting soft on top of the bread. I'm going to do a quick flip. Voila. We're going to go ahead and top the other side now. This is the double cheese grilled cheese sandwich. Double grilled cheese sandwich from foodwishes.com. So you're, what you're basically doing is just letting that cheese get really nice and toasty on the bottom. I'm going to leave it alone for a few. Turn my flame down just a little bit because a cast iron pan, as I said before, when you're cooking it holds a lot of the heat so as time goes by and you're cooking you want to turn it down. There's nothing for you, Olive. Well, is she going to pay me? No, she already paid me. And get the fuck out of here because you just ruined my video. Okay, it smells like it's ready. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. And I probably want it even a little bit browner. That looks so freaking awesome. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> I hit her. What's wrong, Molly? You want some too? Ollie? You want some too? Okay, back to the sandwich cap. So tonight's dinner. Cream of broccoli. Homemade cream of broccoli with organic broccoli, by the way. And some really nice, crusty, double cheese. Grilled cheese sandwiches. I kind of like the other side better, it looks better. But yeah. We'll just 
continue browning and we're going to eat. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's really good for a quick, um, this recipe is really easy, super easy for kids to do. And the soup, like I said, you can make it ahead of time. And have it on a Monday night football night or a really super busy night when you know that your time is limited. That's a good thing about cooking on the weekends. And shut up. Hope you like this recipe, guys. Thanks.